Nimeanza kurekod. <laughs> Nimeanza kurekod as usual. Record like Kiswahili uh, the Kiswahili record. I'll be writing the words on the chat. If you want to, you can look at them there. So, um, in the next around, uh, I don't know how many minutes, let's say five minutes, I want to present you my surprise. So, I hope you have access to the, uh, I'll do both ways. I, I have access to the WhatsApp group. Um, group. I'm trying to get something, just a minute. My file. And mom. Hello, Sana. Away, away. Oh, Karibu. Asante. Sauti Kidogo. My voice is little back. Not... <coughs> I'll try to speak. Uh, yes, this one. On the on the group chat, I've sent you uh, a text there, which I'll give you like two minutes just to see if you can translate it. Just the first part only. Maybe I can also share it here. Let me see. Sorry, man. Did you call this a surprise, Daniel? I was expecting something better. <laughs> <laughs> Same. That is a surprise. Okay. Upsetting. Ducky <laughs> cut. Okay, five minutes. Just. Try to scribble and then you'll go through to see. Um. <laughs>
I guess everyone is done. We are doing just the first part, okay? Don't, uh, just the first part. I guess five minutes is over. You can go through your work and see. Because <laughs> uh, I prepared a small jump starter just to see how can Nambush be. Sasa? Are we good? We go through it? Ah, yeah, so, um, yeah, it is. So, person one is uh, person, this person one and two, it's just translation, the normal things we've been doing. <clears throat> Alessandro, uh, try the person one. Um, good morning. Uh, how, how is your morning, sister? I translated Habari ya Zubuhi Dada. Dio. Sawa, is it good? Or anyone with a different uh, translation? I said Msi Chana. Sorry? I just said Msi Chana, but I think that's more girl than sister, maybe. Yeah, Miss Chana is more of a girl. Sister would be Dada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Nani next? Alessia. Um, uh, Poa, maybe it's a good Poa. Mm -hmm. Then, <coughs> good morning to brother. Yeah, I don't remember the good morning to. It's again a uh, balita subuhi, but the two I don't remember. Actually, you can just say uh, uh, Mzuri or Poa habari subuhi. Just that. It's good. Ah, so that's okay. Then yes, okay. Habari um po bibi, habari habari tasu asubuhi. Um, yeah. It's dada, dada is sister. We are bibi will be grandma. Be grandma? It's and brother. How to say brother? Esther told me that bibi was brother last time. Oh, kaka is brother. Um. I don't know, okay. Uh, Esther, last time, Bibi, Anna, Kak. Ah, Kaka, yes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, thanks. Zuri, Kaka. Beatrice, take us through the other part. How did you sleep? So, how did you sleep? <clears throat> I translated. Um... One second. Ulilala Salama. Nice. Um, yeah, can be Ulilala Salama. Actually, yeah, Ulilala Salama. Did you sleep well? That can, can work, but it is how did you sleep? So it is more of J. Hmm. Anna, will you try? How did you sleep? Uh, umulala J. Yes, I mean it is how the deal sleep. So ulilala li first thing. Ah, uh, um, li ulilala J. Dio. So. Sorry, Daniel. Is it okay to use the part past participle umelala J? Um, how did you sleep? Okay, because it's in the morning and. Because how you wake up, ume amkaje. Yeah, ume amkaje. Okay, yeah, either way. Either way can work. But I think mostly, like, already this someone have already woken up, you know? And uh, maybe they have met, they have met outside the house. It's, it's like the sleeping took lo uh, happened a long time ago. So how did you sleep? Or how? If it's still both ways, anyway. But I'll say 70% for Ulilalaj and 30 for Umelalaj. Sawa? So? Aya, ah, Ben, you're next. Well, good. How about you, Juan? Mm -hmm. I said. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I said I said Mzuri, mm -hmm. na wewe. Na wewe, yeah. Anyone with a different opinion? Okay. So, Mzuri, uh, Mzuri, na wewe. Na wewe, yeah, you can say na wewe or na wewe J. You can also add the J. Either way. Kiara, next. Uh, Daniel, I have a question. Um, the sentence before, um, uh, uli alaje, uli la la laje, right? Mm -hmm. Uli la laje. But, uli la laje. but doesn't it just mean did you sleep? It's not how did you sleep. The J. Yeah, the J is the question, right? So did you sleep? Um, J, 
when it starts at the when it comes at the first, it is like asking a question. But when it is at the end, is it brings out how? Umeamkaje? How did you wake up? Umeshindaje? How did you spend your day? Yeah. But when it is at the start, that is when it is uh, what you are saying. If it was okay. Jen, Uli, Uli Lala. Um, what was the question again? Sorry. Like what no, did it's you okay. say? Like, no. What what did you say? You said something. I was asking if Ulila Laje was okay. just did you sleep rather than how did you sleep? Yes. So Uli, did you sleep will be J Ulila? Yeah. Okay. And then how did you sleep? Ulila Laje. Uh -huh, okay. I have something. Um, who's next? Can... Uh, I don't know, maybe it was me, but it's just uh, mine was good too, so. No, I did that one. Oh, yeah? Oh, you are next one. <laughs> I want to cook tea. What do you want? Um, Nataka kupika chai. Nini una pika? Okay, want. The only thing you missed there was want. The verb want is taka. Uh, what do you want? Mm. Ah, sorry. Um, una. Uh -huh. What do you want? Uh, how do you say what do you want? Unataka nini? A nini after, right? Yes. I've written on okay. the chat. Yeah, so well. But the rest was perfect. So can you say it now? The whole sentence when it's... Unataka uh, kupika chai. Unataka nini? Yeah. Perfect. Um, who's next now? Like Beatrice. Tea is fine. Thank you. Um. Uh, here I had a, um, I had a doubt to be honest uh, because fine we can say chai ni, but fine I would I don't know how to say here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, so I would say chai ni. Um, um, fine, we can say good, uh, like mm -hmm. muema. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can say nzuri, good. Shiny nzuri. So, uh, so as an adjective also. Yeah. So uh, chai, uh, chai ni nzuri. Yeah. But to avoid the issue of noun class, the best one will be chai ni sawa. Chai ni sawa. Yeah. So, uh, nzuri is good. Uh, even the Emma, but you'll have to say Chine in Gemma because of the mouth class thing. But Chine is sour. Sour is uh, more uh, useful. It doesn't change. Yes, it does. It won't change of the mouth class. And then Asan. Okay. Okay. And even poa, by the way, poa. Chai ni poa. But that will be more of a shame, not standard so it mm -hmm. um alessandro i'll go to the market um i will go to the market in the afternoon how about you uh nitainda sokom chana nawewe nice perfect 
Um, I will stay at home. Anna. I want to ask a question for the okay, other one. Uh, can you, when you ask like, uh, that like uh, I'm going to the market and if you ask like, what about you? Can you say where we're with me? Where we? VP. VP, yeah. You can use VP. So I can you, you can say that in the end as well. Uh when I end so calling I will go to the market. <laughs> How about you? Where were VP? Yeah, yeah, where was VP? Where were VP? How about you? Yeah. Mm, can work. Okay. In that context, yeah. Okay. But but VP is more again of the Vietnam class thing, so for now, we are avoiding it, but soon we'll be able to use it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it was also your turn to answer the, the, the other question. Uh, I would say, uh, Nita Ka, uh, Nita, uh, Nita Ka, mm -hmm. uh, I will stay at home. Nitaka Nyumbani. Perfect. Anyone can, with that? Can you spell it? Can you spell it? Sorry, Daniel, please. I okay. Stay at home. Nitaka Nyumbani on the chat. Not Nita. I've written on the chat. It's not Nitaku. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, me too. I, I wrote uh, Nitakua. Oh, let me see. Yeah, me too. I also wrote uh, Nitakua. I don't, I don't, I don't oh, understand. Oh, yes. Thank you. Nitakua. Nitakua is I will be at home. I will be at home, Nitakua. Ah, okay, it's to stay. And then this one is to say is to stay. Uh, how is to, to stay is a ka. ka. Ka or Shinda. That is why you ask someone to me Shindaji. How did you stay? <laughs> ah. So in that sense it would be Nita Shinda, Nyumbami. Yes, you can also say that. Nita Shinda Nyumbani. Yeah, and remember Shinda can be say or can also be win. Also win, is, it has two meanings. Shinda can also mean win. I, I thought it means it meant to pass time, no? Shinda, yeah. When you stay, you are passing time. I think so. <laughs> yeah. But I'll say uh, you can use ka to avoid the, the confusion, ka. But sorry, is it correct to say uh, nitakua? So with the verb to be instead to stay, or it's not correct in Swahili? Nitakua, I will be. Okay. By the way, what if I say nitakua in Bali, I'll be at home. Mm. But the question should have been uh, no, let us stick with stay. Kua is to be. Kua is to be. Let us stick with that. Also, for the say, uh, because uh, you will stay at home. To be is like going to that place and be there but home is your place maybe to if it was maybe sokoni nitakuwa soko nitakuwa shule that one can work but you are in home home is your place so you just stay you're not going but good question good question ah who will give us okay <laughs> Uh huh, Alessandro. Sawa, sawa, sawa. 
Okay, have a nice day, Kiara. Uh, I don't know. Have a nice day. I just say sour, sour, sour. Yeah. But this one, you can also use the higher because it's like ending. Remember, we said when now we are ending a conversation, you can use higher and then have a nice day. It's a new thing. Kuwa na siku jema. I've written on the chat. Alessia, you can wind up for us. You too. See you later. Uh, again, on the you too, I don't remember how to say. Tuaname. Tuaname, what? Mm -hmm. Badai, the famous Badai. Uh, you too. How will you say you? How will you say you too? I want someone to try in the group. How will you say you? Huh? Sorry. Now we appear. Now we appear. Now we write it, please. Now we, let me write on the chat. Now we appear. Is you too? Uh, wewe piwa would be wrong. Wewe pia is okay. It's just shorter. Wewe pia is also okay. Nawe, nawe is shorter. It's shorter. Wewe pia is okay. Wewe pia and then the last part was see you later. Tuonane to anane badai. Badai, badai. Oh. Badai. Badai. The boy, right? The boy. Sarasa, any question? Good. So if you are to rate yourself, um, let's see. It was a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Out of twelve. How much did you get? You can rate yourself and see for the 12 sentences, how many sentences did you get? If you had, uh, you can put half in a, a place whereby you had half the sentence right. Okay. Who had 12 over 12? Kuminamili, oh, oh, you have not yet done number, sorry. 12, 10. Ah, we did number 10. Nine? Sorry, I had 10. Oh, nice. Uh, my coffee? <laughs> oh, oh, because it's video, okay. <laughs> Sign up. <laughs> uh, ah, yeah. 10, uh, 9, Vitres, my coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, 8, ah, Kiara, <laughs> my coffee. Oh, Vitres, you are not, you are not, uh, Piga, my coffee. <laughs> uh, uh, 7, ah, Ah, yeah. <laughs> Kidogo two, four. Uh, four? And, uh, okay, you can't see all of you. Who has been left? Alessandro. Gapi? 
Um, I cheated a little bit because I didn't remember sister, <laughs> so I didn't want to. Oh. <laughs> but apart from that, yes, I would say maybe nine or ten, yeah. Uh, how about you, Alessia? Uh, I can't count them because uh, maybe they're correct, but maybe like I didn't remember sister or their words I don't remember. I mean, I have the impression uh, we are running so much, so some things are just not staying in my mind. Uh, but at least, yeah, I said if you just one word, you put your give yourself a half. Because you also got something. Karibu, David. Yeah. Yeah, Kar eh. Asante. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, yeah. So we did that test, and good afternoon. after we finished going through, <laughs> uh, but I, I guess um, Alessia will show you, you can go through it later. Okay, good job. Um, at least the ambush was good, a good ambush. That's how you know you know a language. You are doing good. So because they have like, uh, I don't know, two minutes. In the next two minutes, we'll log in again before it goes off. As I told you, we'll have a break after 40. And then before we come in, that in those two minutes, you can conjugate the following verbs. Lipa is pay. Shinda is stay. I think we've talked about Shinda or Will, but in this case, let us stick on the stay part. Ishi is leave, Nunua, buy, and Osha is uh, to clean. Huh? Okay. Kuosha is to wash, sorry. Wash. Clean is sufficient. You can try to do those ones and then we log in again and we go through them and uh, we do something else. Sawa sawa. Ah, I see you in a bit. Kwaeri. We log in. Just a break. Yeah, yeah. Like we log in again and we do that one because it's like almost... now or we actually have a break. Okay, after the the break, the break was the break time. <laughs> five minutes. Ah, uh, I hope break like um aperitivo break. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, five Seriously. minutes break. Uh, sour. In but, five uh, minutes we do the, the, the work too. Ah, yeah. See you in a bit. Tutalipa. 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 Sour? Ah, sour. Uh, Shinda. David. Anashinda. Anashinda. Zuri. Poa. Um, Ishi. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. sorry. What does it mean, Shinda? Shinda, we have said it can be two things. Can be stay, like spend a day. Or, ah, yes. Okay. Or win. Win, no? Win, yeah. Okay. So David, the same sentence you can say last weekend to Lishinda. A perfect uh, example. How it's going the the last weekend, right? Yes. Sorry. Um, hello. To see it, fine. Mm. I lost you for a minute. I didn't hear. You, so, um, like you meant last weekend, what you did, you won the game. Yeah. Yeah. To Lishinda, we won. Mm. Mm. 
Uh, is she? Is she? Kiara? Tuli Shindi. Samahani? Rudia? Tuli Ishi. Sorry, I misspelled it. Yeah, Tuli Ishi. Is it with um with two I? Yeah, Tuli Ishi. Yes. The first L it's uh L I for past tense and then the I for the verb. Ishi. Let me write. Ah. Isn't it isn't it the second person plural? Exactly. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, it's the second person. Two is we, first person. Two is you and mm, mm, M. Sorry. M. Yeah. Thank you for the correction. Uh, Anna. Are you there? Sorry, yeah, I'm following through. Uh, it was just like I used to, have to pick at something. Oh, so but I'm listening. You, will you be able to tell us the time uh, that the answer to Momo? Two? No, no, the, the, the other question after each. Uh... I missed that one. I'm sorry. Mm. Give it give it again. Okay, we are at uh, the second last question. That's what we answered. In the document, right? Yeah, in the document. Oh, but I can't see the document yet because as we signed out. Oh, okay. It was I'm sorry, guys, it's showing it that sorry. It is in the group. You can check out from the group. I also sent it in the WhatsApp group. Beatrice, oh. as you look, uh, yeah, in the WhatsApp group, I also sent it. Okay, sorry, so. Yeah. Um, Beatrice, can you give us the answer for the, that question? So we are at Nunua. Mm-hmm. So it's third person singular. So it's uh, future tense. So it's uh, atanunua. Atanunua. Yeah. Third person, future tense, and singular. Atanunua. The last one, Ale Alexander. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm just trying. Disappeared, but um, Osha, first person, past tense, uh, first person, so uh, Ni, oh, sorry, Ni Li Osha. Ni Li Osha, I watched, yes. Okay, so there are five, five over five. I guess this one, uh, who got five over five? Oh, nice. <laughs> My coffee. Oh, mosquitoes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's time for mosquitoes. Yeah, yeah, whenever you see us clapping, it's because you are surrounded by mosquitoes. So sorry for that. Yeah, and then you're on a, back, a dark cloth. Mosquitoes love black surfaces. Oh, really? We should wear, like, white clothes? Yeah, mosquitoes will, will, will tend to go to black uh, surfaces. Huh. Um... Four over five. 
ma coffee uh, three please tell me three is the last one three anyone with three oh okay everyone four and above oh nice good that's good job okay ma coffee for yourself <laughs> Great job. So um, that is good. That was a good ambush, but you really picked it well and did it very quick. That's, yeah, nice job to all of you. Um, we can, uh, I'll pick a few questions, maybe. Uh, I know we should have started with questions, but I first decided we do a quiz first before we go to the question. So anyone with a question, maybe for previous lesson and uh, who needs answers before you do something else more? Negations were good. What did you do? We did the, uh, I mean, the two of us, we did the uh, kua and kua na. Exactly. We well, didn't do negation. Monosyllabic verbs and conditional present, conditional past, kua na, kua. Okay. I guess, oh, okay, yeah. Now I, I see why you were, uh, because there's, uh, yeah, you did some revision. A, a day and then there was okay. a time. Yeah, you okay? I understand why you are behind because of uh, yeah. We'll I'll try to talk to Esther so that you are able also to catch us up. Because we, last time you said we had to do the. I think like we are somehow I don't know how behind of one lesson every time. Yeah. And uh, because I think we did one. Uh, because one day we because, I, I did a, a a review. Because yeah, maybe he did a review one day. So every time we are one lesson behind. So something is like, mm, well, okay, we try to get it, <laughs> but uh, we, we see like there's something uh, unmatching at some point uh, on the things. Like with negation, we thought we were going to do them in class today. That's why like, you remember last time you said, uh, yeah, tell to Esther to make you do the, um, the Kua and Kuana. So this is what we did. And, uh, but negation, we thought we were going to do it uh, today, actually. So we, we didn't see it uh, negation at all. Okay. What did you do, Kiara, with this stuff? Negations. Negations. Also, man. Okay. Also, Beatrice and Elizabeth. You got frozen, Daniel, but I think you asked if Ben also Ben did it. Yeah. Uh, Alessandro, too, and Beatrice, you did the uh, negation? Yes, yes, yes. Two weeks ago, I did the kua and the monosyllabic verb, and the latest lesson, I did the negations, yes. Okay. Yes, also in my case, but may I say that I found the negations so difficult? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how about it, Yara? Difficult? It's nice, because it's a bit more complex rules than... Uh... Cool. <laughs> I, I liked it a bit more. I think it's a bit more interesting. But um, but the end, it's some rules, right? It's uh, yeah, it's memorizing. I, I think I have impression we are running so much sometimes, uh, and uh, we are not doing any review of the previous yeah. lesson. It's like taking for granted yeah. that we are learning everything, which on the grammar basic is not difficult, but uh, I think at least my brain doesn't have the time to assimilate everything. Yeah. So when we do the class, it's like, oh yeah, of course it's normal or clear or good. Then uh, the next week is like, oh shit, I forgot like <laughs> half of the thing we did uh, we did before. I don't know if it's only my impression, no. but uh, I don't know. Since you were just asking for question, this is like uh, my, yeah. my feeling. No, I, I, my... I, I agree. I agree, Daniel. So I think this is uh, the rule itself are simple, but it's a lot to memorize and the thing to do exercise and to, to go mm -hmm. over and over is, is the best way to 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 move to to fix them because yeah i feel uh, i feel the same as alessia said okay so uh, being said that i've shared my screen i'm going to give you a summary of uh, 
of this negation and also everyone who didn't do and who did will be like a way of viewing and also catching up, okay? And uh, for those who have said it's easy, they will also I'll ask them many questions so that so they be attentive to help in the class. Kiara, get ready and be asking you questions so that it's like a way of a discussion. But I'll also make notes here so that it becomes easy. So uh, negations, it is like a format thing again. In Kiswahili, we call it kukanusha. Um, and uh, when we are negating, we negate in forms of tenses. So we, I hope you can see my screen. My white, my white book. Okay, sorry. Present. So I'll take us back to the tenses first because that is where we get the basis of negations. We'll negate according to the tense. Present tense, past tense, future tense. And past participle. One, two, three, four. Just this. The present tense is uh, the, the simple for the syllable for present tense is na, right? Okay, uh, present tense na. I'll give an example. Nina pika. The na is for tense, present, present tense. Past tense is Kiara. Uh, Lee. Lee. And in this case, it will be Nili Pika. And then future tense. Ta. Ta. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and then the, the, the sentence will be Ni. You can say Kiara. Today I'm teaching with you. Pardon, sorry, sorry. Uh, Nita Pika. Nita Pika. Nita Pika. There you go. And then the me. Uh, uh, Nime Pika. Nime Pika. So the negations will be based on these tenses. Okay. And uh, so after writing that, I just go back. This one. Um, um, we just make the sentences, the six, uh, the persons. Nina Pika, you are cooking would be? Una Pika. And then third person, Ana Pika. The plural, to Una Pika, we are cooking. Una Pika, Una Pika. And wanna pick up. I hope up today I'm not fast. Are we together? Okay. So when I'm negating in present tense, what happens? Actually, this is like the icebreaker. When you understand the present tense, the rest is kind of simple. So Nina Pika would be C Piki. Una Pika will be who. Piki. Ana pika will be ha piki. Tuna pika will be ha tu piki. Mna pika will be ha m mm piki. And then the, the last one would be ha wa piki. Okay. When you look at this, there's something which I'm going to give you a summary here of what has just happened. Ni has changed to C. That is something we'll be applying in all the tenses. Ni changes to C. A will change to ha. Ah, sorry. Let us go to the second person first. U, who. And then a ha and then two you put ha two and then m ham and then wa how that is what will happen on the subject 
prefix when you are negating in all tenses by the way. Then in this case, in present tense, you'll realize that the here in between we have we don't we don't have tense marker, but the verb ending has changed to I. So this is what is bringing out the verb. It is telling us the tense marker. So it is telling us which tense the negation is in. So in this case, it will behave this way, and the verb ending changes to I in present tense. And this is only in present tense. I don't know up to there if we've, uh, we are good. Any question up to there? All right. Now let us do questions. You'll use the same formula. I am going to delete this and put questions there. Nina Ishi. Want to try? Kiara, you can try. It becomes um si ishi. Yes, si ishi. Si ni changes to si and then e she. And because ishi is at the end is I already, you don't need to change. It just stays like that. Mm -hmm. I Tuna Soma. Alessia, will you try? So, Tuna Soma will be uh, how to saw me? How to saw me. There you go. How to saw me. Uh huh. And, uh, Analala. Alessandro. Um, Analala will be uh, Halali. Halali. The A has been replaced by H and then the last part I. Um, two. Sorry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why is it like that? Why does the end change to an I? The end has changed. Are you asking why I has changed? Yes. Okay. Who will try to explain to uh, to to Anne before I do? Beatrice, are you okay? Can you explain? Okay. Me. Yes, can you explain? Me, yes, can you explain to Anna what she has asked? Yeah, so uh, Halali. So uh, the A um, becomes uh, H A. The N, sorry, I don't know because I would like to point. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. you can, I have, I, I have, uh, I have allowed you to you can use the screen. Um, I, it's ah, I can. Can you see my my arrow? Mm, no. Can you see it? Ah. You can use the spotlight. What is that? Spotlight is after text. Oh, okay. Are you able to? I think you can be. Here. Ah. Can you see now? Actually, I can't see. Hello? Hello? Can you can see? see? Let me just point for you. Because you uh, ah, okay, uh, okay. So you point. Uh, you okay. point my spotlight? Yeah, I can see. I okay. can see. So starting, maybe we can start with the Analala. So mm -hmm. the A of Analala in the negative form uh, becomes uh, H-A. Okay, the 
the tense marker of the present and a simply uh, falls down. So there is not in the negative form. While the verb lala in the negative form uh, changes, replacing the final uh, uh, vocal with I. Yeah. And Umelewa? I think I, I will just like follow through and then like, I got the like, explanations, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's no, sorry. It. Maybe I was not very good in explaining. No, no, no. Was that it's not you, Beatrice? It's me. <laughs> I I, under, I understand what you're trying to say. Like that is the point. That is why I say this tense is like an ice. It's like the icebreaker because it is not like the normal way we'd be negating. So the tense marker drops, disappears, and you just replace with an I. La la, the last A changes to I. That is what tells us it is in present tense, but it's negation, saying no. I am not. The not is in, is in I am her, and then not is the I. This I is what is telling us not. But when we go to the other tenses, it will become much easier. Okay, but let's say that like if the ver verb would like end with an A. No, with an I. Oh, in the other with, tenses? With that... mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, are you saying in the other, are you asking what will happen in the other tenses? Yeah. In the other tenses, it will remain the same. There will be no change at the end of the of the of it. It will will still have the subject prefix and tense marker, but it's only in present tense where this happens. Yeah. Okay. Then I follow through. Thanks. Um, we were analala halali. Uh. Tuna, tuna soma will be uh, okay. Let me change it. Let me change it. Okay. So tuna soma will be the two changes to ha to, and then so, m and i. Ha to so. Um, I give you another example. Now someone else will try. Um, to na, to na, where are we? Uh, to, okay. Wana Cheza. David, will you try? Yeah, I'm gonna mm -hmm. try. Wana Cheza. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are chesy? How are chesy? Perfect. How are chesy? Sorry, what does it mean, uh, chesa? Chesa, play. Chesa means play. Um, Chesa soccer. Yeah, Chesa soccer. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's give another one. Lipa. I use Lipa, and this one will go with the uh, what? Mna Lipa. Mna Lipa Bill. Um, who didn't speak in the whole session? Uh, Alessia, you have not spoken. I did, but I do it again. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Lippi. I'm Lippi. Oh, and the soil will be Billy. Billy? Billy? What's Billy? La Bill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
a good example just yeah good so that is uh, uh, uh -huh. yeah like the uh, you paid uh, you paid it no you didn't pay it you don't pay the bill yeah you are not paying yes you're not paying the bill okay <laughs> you all actually you all yeah <laughs> um good so i think that one is easier just add to do one more nina 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 and what's that mean i am going and Oh, sorry, but did you ask me to say it? Yeah, to negate. To negate. I want you to try. Silly. Andy? C. And then Andy. C. Andy. C. Andy. You are all. Oh, okay. Hmm. Now I get it. Now I... so you always like remove the tense. Yes, in present tense, and you put an I to show it is in present tense. Okay, so now now it makes sense to me. I always love that sound when my students say, "Oh, you know, that is the sound. <laughs> of, that is the sound of understanding." Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Asante. Okay, so we go to the past tense. Eh? Sawa, sawa, past tense. Past tense is kind of easier because what will happen is, uh... okay, let me write past tense negation. What happens here, remember in, uh, what is past tense? Li, right? Li basically changes to ku. Li changes to ku. And so in this case, we are not putting a verb end at the end. Okay, let's do some example. Um, and now I am trying to make a sentence because we also practice. Nili, uh, Jana, Nili Pika Chapati. Who wants to negate this one? Nani atajaribu? Kiara? Um, sorry, do you want me to translate or already to put it in negate? Negative? You can translate yeah? and negate. Both ways are good. you will be a, a good teacher. Okay. Jana Sikupika Chapati. Nice. Which translated is uh um yesterday mm -hmm. i didn't cook chapati i didn't cook chapati what we negate is the verb the verb is pika okay so basically maybe i write a summary here again um what will happen here is me Nili, Nili changes to Siku, Ali changes to Haku. Ah, oh, I've mixed. Nili Uli changes to Huku, Ali Haku, and then Tuli Hatuku. And then mli hamku and uh, wali hawaku. What I've done is the ten, the subject prefix and the tense marker. That is what I've given you a summary of. I know in the book is just ni. I don't know. I think it's ni and si that we already did. That's how you get. So nilipika. Nili 
changes to Siku and then pick up. We go to call Pamoja David, we good? Are we okay? So now you are the ones I'm giving you another example you translate. Uh, okay. Nili Soma out. Uli Soma Kiswahili. How do you negate that? Uli Soma Kiswahili. Samani Rudia? Please Sorry. repeat. Samahani Rudia, ah. please repeat. Ukusoma Kiswahili. Ukusoma Kiswahili. Right. Ukusoma Kiswahili. Good job. Um, Alienda Mombasa. Um, Alessandro Kanusha. Alienda Mombasa. Uh, that would be um, Hakuenda Mombasa. Hakuenda Mombasa. Uh -huh. Tuli Lima Shambani. Shambani is the farm. Um, Alessia, negate for us. Hatu Kulima Shambani. Hatu Kulima Shambani. Nice. We, Shambani, we have said this. Farm. Sorry, sorry Daniel. Yeah, farm. What, what is the difference between Shamba and Shambani? Actually, in the farm. Ni brings, Sorry? Ni brings in the art, the knee at the end. Shamba is the farm itself, farm. Mm -hmm. And the knee is it, is it, is it, yeah, is it like Nyumba and Nyumbani? Yes, yes. Um okay. Mli Cheza Soka Kiara Um Kum Ku Cheza Samahani. Rudia? Hello? So I was saying Mlicheza Mpira. How do you negate? So this one uh, becomes uh, uh, whom uh hum kucheza mpira yes ham kucheza ham ah sorry ham yes. hum kucheza mpira yeah and i hope all of us will note that the pronunciation will be very critical in your speaking because that is what will tell someone what you are you are negating or not yeah what what what, what is mpira daniel sorry oh. thank you <laughs> I was writing soccer and then I went to Pira. Pira is ball. <laughs> uh, ball. Pira means ball. And actually, we kind of say uh, Pira is more of soccer. 
when we say mpira, it's, it is like because football is where it's a common game, is the common game. So when you say mpira, it's the same as soccer. Yeah. Sorry, sometimes I speak to you and then I forget that you are you're also learning. I start thinking we are all speaking Kiswahili. <laughs> okay. Uh, the other one would be Wali. Wali Panda. Okay, this one I'll make it long. Mlima Kenya. Beatrice. Wali Panda Mlima Kenya. So it becomes... Uh, sorry, let me see. Uh, ah, panda. So it's a uh, Hawaku Panda. Hawaku Panda. Mlima Kenya. Mlima Kenya is Mount Kenya. Mlima means mountain. Hawaku. Mm -hmm. Hawaku Panda, you're right. Mlima is mountain, so I meant Mount Kenya. Um, okay, good. Let's go to the other tense and we go to the, the easiest of all. So I'll go first to past participle again. Participle, okay. My spellings, participle, which we know is me and changes to ja. Same concept, same, same concept again. Uh, Kiara, give us a, an example. Now I feel like you should also give an example and negate it. Okay, so... Um uh nimejifunza uh nimejifunza kiswahili mm -hmm. <laughs> uh can become uh, would, would become then um sija jifunza kiswahili nimejifunza kiswahili sija jifunza kiswahili uh, we good or it's a new one? I have learned Kiswahili. I have not learned. Uh huh. Alessandro, give us an example. Uh. 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 Ame ame chelewa kazi. That would become Haja chelewa kazi. Haja chelewa kazi. Yes. And just for for easy. Uh, for those who are taking uh, summary notes. So, Nime will change to Sija, Ume, Kuja, Ame, Haja, Tume, Hatuja, Mme, Hamja, Mme Hamja and uh, Wame uh, Wame Hawaja. So when you look at it, you'll find that the subject prefix part is the same. It's only the the tense part which is changing in the other tenses. In present tense, the tense marker wasn't there. We were replacing it with an I. Okay, Beatrice, give us an example for uh, the other another example, and make sure it is just the six persons. Eh? 
so you will see what is not there in our list. Uh -huh. It's okay. We can mix, but it's even good so someone can see if there is something missing. So, um, Umeishi Nairobi becomes uh, Kuja Ishi Nairobi. Kuja Ishi Nairobi. Nice. You've stayed in Nairobi. You have stayed in Nairobi. You have not stayed in Nairobi. <laughs> Anne, will you try? Mm, should I just make up a sentence? Yes, make up a sentence. Can you please give me one and then I will try on that one. A verb? Mm-hmm. Um, a verb we already know. Just a simple verb. Even if we said in the other previous example. Um, name a panda. Mm -hmm. name, a name a panda. This is what you said? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Name a panda. Kenya. Name a panda, Kenya. Nice. Mm -hmm. Dija, Dija Penda Kenya. Dija Penda Kenya. I hope you are in the Nibe Penda part. <laughs> Say again. I hope you are in the Nibe Penda part, not Sija Penda part. <laughs> First part. <laughs> uh, how many? How, uh, Okay, this one is Ngapi. Wangapi wamependa Kenya. Like, how many has love, have loved Kenya? I hope all of us we the Nimependa part, not Sijapenda part. Okay. Um, another example was not spoken. In this quiz, David, give us something. Okay, I'll correct. I'll change this one so that we fill all the the persons and just say two. Hard two. Oh, sorry. Hard two. To my pedal to Japan. Uh -huh. David? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tamahani? Me mm. 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 pica. Me mm. pica chapati. Mm -hmm. Hamja pika chapati. Nice. Perfect. Me pika chapati, hamja pika chapati. But it must be there in the party. So. <laughs> we must cook chapati in the party. <laughs> Um, another one, two, three, four, five. The last remaining. Is she I think so. Yes. Yeah, uh, Jana. Uh, oh no, which one is missing? Wait, then. The last. Yeah, the last. So it's one. Okay. Uh, Jana. Um, Wamenda Watamo. So I'll just say Wamenda. Wamenda Watamu. Ah, Jana. Wamenda Watamu, okay. Uh, 
so it will be um how uh how a jaenda watamu watamu perfect and then when you say jana it qualifies to lee pole sana for the mosquitoes <laughs> sorry <laughs> we didn't do it <laughs> please go on sorry the mosquitoes can be very noisy <laughs> So when you're saying Jana will be Lee, will be more of Lee. Okay. 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 Because it's past, past. It's yesterday. But if it was okay. morning, maybe what? But anyway, good. Um. Okay. Sawa sawa. We go to the last part. Oh. The most fun. The last one is future. Future tense is the easiest. After understanding the rules, ta remains ta. It's like the famous song nowadays they are singing, I don't know, ta, whatever, and then they keep on saying ta, ta, ta. I don't know if you have heard of that song. I love that song. Ah, okay. Did you get that song here? Hmm? The Tata song. It's a good one. <laughs> and Anna, make sure you send a link. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> send a link to the group. Everyone knows the current song, trending song in the streets of Nairobi. There was a big event actually on Saturday, right? Yeah, a big event. Uh, some Nigerians, those came and all that. And KICC. Anyway, so ta remains ta. I hope you don't forget. Um, we do again example. So this one means nitapika. Ni changes to C and then ta pika. That's why I'm saying it's easy. This one doesn't change in the tense mark. It's only the subject prefix which changes in the negation form. Nitapika sita pika. So I can make a sentence. Nita pika. Nita pika. Nita pika. Nita pika. Okay. I'm forgetting any other food. Ugali. How can I forget Ugali? Nita pika ugali na nyama choma. I hope you know what is nyama choma. Grilled meat. Yes, kesho. Then sita pika ugali na nyama choma kesho. Uh, yes. Could you please do the, the summary as you did for, for the other the other tenses? Okay, the summary. So in this case, the summary I'll say. Uh, <laughs> so ni changes to c but ta will remain the same so nita sita uta huta ata hata um tuta hatuta mta hamta Water, water, and now you see why Swahili sentences, uh, words can be long. Already, hawata is already three syllables, and it's not yet even a, a word. That's one of the reasons it can be very long. Mm -hmm. So nitapika ugali. Um, let me see another one. Ni uh, utaenda kazi. Utaenda kazi. Utaenda kazi. Negate that one. Beatrice.
utaenda kazi you negate utaenda kazi unaona mtu kwenye is the same with the h at the beginning utaenda yes utaenda kazi and okay listen to me utaenda kazi who taenda kazi who taenda like i'm trying to stress on the h u who taenda kazi okay let me first grab some breath you know i'm have a, i'm having a cold okay utaenda kazi who taenda kazi i hope you can can you feel the difference yeah Man, when you are speaking is very important because this h is what is bringing the difference um ata ata nunua ata nunua mboga kesho nunua is buy right and mboga is uh, vegetables vegetables maybe i can also make a, a good example alessandro atanunua mboga kesho alessandro please say no i prefer meat so i will say alessandro uh hata nunua mboga kesho good alessandro hata nunua mboga kesho okay uh, that is uh then tutacheza uh, soccer okay uh, weekend David, negate it. Tutacheza soka weekendi. Change Tamahani. for. Huh? Ha. Ha tutacheza soka weekendi. Yeah. But I hope you are playing. Tutacheza. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> weekend. Nice. Yes. Mm. Um mtapanda 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 mlima Kilimanjaro uh, mtapanda mlima Kilimanjaro kesho okay let us just use our limited uh, vocabulary ana negate Mm. Mtapanda mlima Kilimanjaro kesho. Kama hani? Mtapanda. Eh, hamta hamtapanda, hamtapanda. Hamtapanda mlima Kilimanjaro kesho. Yeah, now there is much if someone can hear it's a negation hamta panda hamta panda so the ham ham is important eh? ham is, is what is telling us what is happening hamta panda mlima kilimanjaro kesho um okay where are we what uh, what uh, watatembea watatembea sokoni watatembea sokoni kiara negate negate sorry did you call me negate watatembea sokoni um what is sokoni market Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, 
um, hawa ta hawa ta tembea sokoni hawa ta tembea sokoni and tembea is uh, si jifunza <laughs> si jifunza okay tembea is like a uh, tembea can be walk 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 and visit will come from tembea tembelea tembea is walk tembelea is visit so uh I will not visit uh, Fort Jesus. Try be trace to negate that. I will not visit Fort Jesus. So it becomes Sita uh, Tembelea uh, Fort Jesus. Yes, perfect. Sita Tembelea Fort Jesus. Nice. Any question up to there? 